So we're gonna try to make light of a bad situation. You want some? Oh, thanks. <laughs> gonna be working on the kitchen inside the container house. Hey, we figured it'd be the perfect time to go ahead and change the layout a little bit. What did you do? Nothing. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Good morning, guys. We are headed out to the chicken coop really quick to give the girls a special treat. There was a little bit of a mishap this morning. I dropped eight eggs. Eight eggs, y'all. I'm not very happy about it. And that is exactly why I want to put the cabinets back up today. The only eggs that we had. <laughs> so we're going to try to make light of a bad situation. More food. And spoil the girls today with some eggs, ice, and then as well as the eggshells. It's a really high source of protein for the girls, especially since they're starting to layer eggs. This will be a nice treat for them. It's one of the hottest days of the year, so we're gonna give them a fan today and make sure they stay cool. <laughs> I think we're actually gonna move it right here because this is where the girls like to lay a lot. This should be good now. Mm -hmm. Guess let's see if they have any in the coop to replenish what we lost. Oh, we do have one. Yay. We got one, babe. Awesome. We're just gonna go ahead and mist the ground a little bit since the sand's real hot. That way they can get a little bit of evaporation going on around them. It'll cool the air down a little bit. You don't necessarily want to get chickens wet at all or soak them, but this won't hurt and it'll hopefully get them a little bit more cool, especially on this really hot day. Hot. Oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> you want some? Oh, thanks. <laughs> what do y'all think about this hot day? It is for sure a hot one today, so we're gonna have to make sure that we are constantly coming out and checking on the animals and making sure that they're good and have plenty of access to cold water and shade. Back to using the basket. I really wanna get some sort of like, um, I don't know, I've seen like the egg trays where you can like layer them and then have the freshest at top and then put the bottom layer and so on and so forth. I really want to get one of those, but they're kind of expensive, so I haven't found one yet. Maybe I can get Cody to make me one. Until then, I think we're just going to go ahead and stick with the basket. <laughs> I'm standing here because I can feel the AC and it's so hot outside. I was literally outside for like 10 minutes. I didn't even do anything and I'm ready for bed. See the sweat rolling down your face. Hey y'all, I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor, Magic Spoon. Y'all know we've been trying to eat better lately, but we don't always have time to cook breakfast. And while cereal is really fast, most of them are just sugar. So I've been on the lookout for a protein packed cereal for quite a while now. And then along came Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented. It has zero grams of sugar, four to five net grams of carbs, and it's packed with 13 to 14 grams of protein. It's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and at only 140 calories, what's not to love? We've been enjoying the variety pack, which has cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter because we get to change it up every day. And my current go-to right now is the peanut butter. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's packed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money with no questions asked. 
Click the link in the description to grab yourself a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use the code on the screen at checkout to get $5 off any order. Or you can just scan the QR code on the screen. And if you have tried Magic Spoon before, comment below the flavors that you liked. Thanks again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Today we are going to be working on the kitchen inside the container house, mostly because the living room is a disaster. There are kitchen cabinets everywhere and I want a working kitchen again. I want a kitchen sink again. Being able to get the kitchen cabinets back in is going to help a lot. The reason we're able to do this is because we already did the drywall in there. It's been mudded, it's been taped, it's sealed in, it's ready to go. So. Once the kitchen cabinets are in, we'll be able to see the design space a little bit better and then hopefully be able to start working on the little design aspects. We're not abandoning the pantry project. We just want our house to be a little bit more functional. So just spending the day getting all of that back in is really going to help. And then since Summer cleaned up the entire living room area, kitchen area today, we figured it'd be the perfect time to go ahead and change the layout a little bit. So we've gotten a ton of questions in the past on why we set our fireplace up the way we did, why we don't have our chimney going straight up mm -hmm. through the ceiling, because that, you know, we would get a lot more heat output out of that and it'd be a lot more efficient, yada yada. Well, this right here, what we're about to do is why we didn't do that and why we chose to put it through the wall. So stay tuned and you'll find that out here in a little bit. Like said, everything's pretty much been ready to go in here. We just haven't hung the cabinets up yet. So all the drywall is mudded and taped. We drywall painted it and sealed it in. Okay, so we're ready to go. Let's start hanging some cabinets. What did you do? Nothing. I'm trying to get this wire. Don't Sorry. worry, I'll fix it. I did it angled so I can fix it easier. So our kitchen cabinets are St. Charles all metal vintage kitchen cabinets. We got them from a doctor's house, I believe, out in Chesterfield, Missouri. We got them on Facebook Marketplace. All of them together and we got a bunch of them were only $300. I think mostly they just wanted to get rid of them so they could start on their remodel. They're impeccable condition and they have a ton of really cool features. So we have a Lazy Susan and a spice rack and a corner cabinet. But one of the really cool features that they have is built-in electrical so that way you can have under cabinet light. So Cody ran wiring for that when we took all the walls down and that's what he's, I'm assuming, currently trying to find. No, I found it. I just got to get it in the cabinet now. There you go. <laughs> hey baby, you probably should have done that before you started messing with the wire. It's not hot. I just wanted to double check it before I actually touched it. That's hot. Now that I have the wire pulled through into the cabinet, I'm gonna go ahead and patch this hole really quick. We'll put the rest of the cabinets up, and then once all the cabinets are in, I will wire them all together.
He took pictures of everything whenever we put the walls back up, so he's able to see where all of the studs are. Shh. You don't hear any water running, do you? I hope not. I hope not either. I need a good cleaning, so I'm probably gonna do that before we put everything back in, and then, and then all of the insides need to be vacuumed so whenever he does the electrical we'll make sure to vacuum clean it up and get it all nice and ready in there and then we'll be able to put all of our dishes back in and i am so excited for that Got our top cabinets installed we're gonna go ahead and wait on the bottom cabinets because i want to tile the floor first and have our cabinets sit on top of the tile we have a metal strip going down the center of the house from the framing of the container itself but we want to make sure we cover that up and don't leave any exposed metals so i want to make sure we tile under all of the cabinets instead of just leaving them exposed for them so we're not going to do the bottom cabinets right now we're gonna go ahead and hop back over to the pantry. That way we can get these shelves finished and try and get this giant cabinet out of our house. So if you wanna see how we built our shelving, go back to our last video. As far as today goes, we're gonna go ahead and finish up these last two shelves. That way we can get the rest of them stained and hopefully tonight we'll be able to polyurethane them and start installing everything tomorrow.
we ready for bed, ladies? Good night, girls. So pretty.